Hi, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to try a different application for the six inch abrasive sanding wheel. This this didn't work very well on the wood. It didn't seem to do at all what I wanted it to do for the screwdrivers. However, that's not that wasn't the primary impetus for me buying this. The main reason was because I wanted something that could get inside and around a rivet. A rivet that you couldn't extricate. So I'm going to take these no-name, apparently no-name pliers. There's some something in here in the handle. I don't know if I'll be able to find out what it is or not. But I'm going to see if I can't use that wire wheel to clean these up or that the abrasive wheel. Uh, because what I have now, I primarily use is a wire wheel and a belt sander. And a belt sander will wreak havoc on a rivet like this. It just makes your life so difficult to get in there. So, so a belt sander might be great for the rest of this. The uh, the real the real downfall is it's there. To my knowledge, is not a good way to get in here and polish around here. Um, and I'm hoping maybe this wheel will do that. So let's find out. All right, that is just the abrasive sanding wheel. Let me go over to the wire wheel and see if it makes much of a difference at all. Now that cleaned it up, cleaned it up very nicely, like wire wheel always does. This seemed to have got a little bit more material off of it, so I'm gonna just keep cleaning this up and paste a couple shots together occasionally, and uh, I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, so this is what I was talking about with the belt sander. You can't really get in there, and then with the way the platen is on the on this new. Uh, Kalamazoo belt sander and even on my other one it's it's just not it's not really designed to get in there and around this nut so anyway this one is just wire wheel this one is with the, the sander uh, I'm gonna go over and continue to clean this up and then uh, I'll bring it back all right so these are these are just a uh, forged made in USA no-name pliers um, they're not near and dear to my heart or anything like that so I wanted to use these as an experiment and what I had done is that I'd used just the sander on this side and you could actually probably see some of the striations you can see it took a shine real well but there's some some not imperceptible differences in the grain and the structure where the belt sander could get See how nice that is, and then right around the nut, it's not quite quite as nice. Now on the other side, it came out better. It doesn't have the that sort of dimpled edge that the uh, the the abrasive wheel was able to take down. I went back and forth it quite a few times with the the sanding wheel, and and it did knock out that, but it's still no. It, it did better on the, the rivet than just about anything else. I mean, better than the wire wheel, because the wire wheel doesn't really remove material. It will knock off paint, the rust, things like that, but it won't really get down there and remove the stippling or any of the imperfections from the die. The sanding wheel will actually take material, albeit it'll take it slowly. The phenolic wheel, the fiber wheel, will throw sparks. However, it removes metal at an almost imperceptible rate. So, I found some use. There's there is some application for this for this wheel when it comes to rivets. If you're really getting into the details, but but you know I'm I'm trying to show you as best I can, and it's not a huge di difference between the two. Um, maybe maybe you can tell. Leave it up to you. Not not put my two cents in it. Um, anyway, still not nearly. Um, Wireworks told me he can get these wheels for six bucks. Mm, maybe th for three bucks. Definitely not for thirty. Um, so I feel gypped. But anyway, that was a nice little exercise in testing that that that, that hypothesis that this might actually be worth a damn around rivets. But you know, not so much. And I managed to clean up an old set of pliers that I probably would have never got around to otherwise. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And um, and let me know in the comments if you prefer the time lapse with the music or whether you like the 
the abbreviated clips that just sort of punch through the stuff that you've seen a million times. Uh, thanks and have a good night.